Hello everyone and welcome to a playoff football edition of the Portage Daily Register sports webcast. I'm Dan. And I'm Travis. And uh, earlier Friday, the WIAA released its playoff football brackets, all 224 teams in all seven divisions. So this afternoon we're going to be taking a look at all six games involving teams from the area, uh, beginning in Division Three, where Lodi um, will be traveling to take on four-seeded Wisconsin Dells. Um, Lodi is 6-3 and three overall this season, 3-2 and two in the Capital North Conference. Um, that's runner-up behind Champions Poinette and Lakeside Lutheran. Um, meanwhile, Wisconsin Dells is 4-5 and five overall, 3-2 and two in the South Central Conference where they finished third. Uh, Lodi is averaging 28.1 points per game and allowing 15.6, while the Chiefs are scoring 15.8 per game and allowing 24.6 per game. Yeah, and for Lodi, this is kind of nowhere. They move up to Division Three. Uh, they were actually in Division Four last year when they made it all the way to the state semifinals. Um, for Lodi, it's their 10th straight playoff appearance, and they are 9-11 all-time in the postseason. Uh, for the Chiefs, this, they are making their fourth straight playoff appearance, but they have lost their last six games in the playoffs. And their last playoff win wasn't until way back in 1986. So, uh, and another note on this: there uh, used to be uh, the South Central Conference rivals. They, uh, before Lodi had left the Capital Con- left to go to the Capital Conference, they were in the South Central with Chiefs. And and just a note on on the Chiefs here: fourth seeded, but they needed wins in their final two conference games uh, to bump up to three and two in the conference to to make the playoffs. So, uh, interesting note there. Uh, moving along to a Division Four matchup um, where Montello Princeton Green Lake uh, in the uh, Large Trailways Conference um, will be will be hosting New Holstein um, in the Eastern Wisconsin Conference. Uh, MPGL scoring 34.2 points per game this season while allowing 17.9. Uh, they're seven and two overall, five and one in the conference. That's runner up behind Champion Partyville. Meanwhile, New Holstein uh, scoring 27.9 points per game and allowing uh, 17.2, and uh, and they tied for third in in the Eastern Wisconsin. Yeah, it should be a good game if you like points. Uh, um, Montella, Princeton, and Green Lake is obviously a high-scoring team. They're making their second straight playoff appearance. They were bumped down in the opening round last year. Uh, For uh, New Holstein, they're actually making their fifth straight appearance in the postseason. Let's see here. They advanced to level two last season before uh, losing, so they uh, got a little playoff history themselves. Should be a fun, uh, like you said, a fun game to watch uh, for for anybody that wants to see some points go up on the scoreboard. Yeah, and that game's at Princeton, by the way. Um, and and moving on to Division Five, um, second seeded Partyville um, will be hosting Auburndale um, in their first round matchup. Partyville uh, seven and two this season, and and six and zero oh in in the Large Trailways. We mentioned the uh, champions in that conference, um, scoring 31.9 points per game and allowing 10.8 points per game. Stingy defense um, for the Bulldogs. Meanwhile, Auburndale 29.6 points per game, and they're giving up 22.3 per contest. Yeah, and uh, Partyville obviously has some playoff history. This is actually their 12th straight playoff appearance. Um, it'll also be the final playoff appearance for head coach Mike Keynes, who recently announced that he plans on retiring at the end of the season. Um, the Bulldogs are 6-11 and in the playoffs under Haynes' 13 season in Partyville. And Auburndale uh, actually is ending a four-year playoff drought. Uh, let's see here. They're, they actually are in the same conference as Edgar and Stratford, who have won. They've combined to win the last seven state championships in Division Six. Division Six, so you know they play in a good conference. And, and obviously, any time you can play uh, competition of that quality heading into the playoffs, uh, it gets you... Gets you ready for um, those playoff games when the intensity level is just a little bit higher. Mm-hmm. Uh, another Division Five game, um, Poinette, um, out of the uh, Northern Capital Conference, is going to be hosting um, previously mentioned Stratford. Uh, Poinette um, had the 17 to 14 overtime win um, down in in Lake Mills against Lakeside Lutheran here a couple days ago to earn a, a share of the conference title there. Um, they're scoring 25.1 points per game um, and allowing 13.4. Seven and two overall, four and one in the Capital North. Uh, meanwhile, Stratford 37.9 points per game, 
um, they can really put it up there. And they're only allowing 14 per game. Um, seven and two overall, seven and one in the Merrillwood Conference, runner up behind Edgar. Yeah, this is a tough opening draw on paper for Poinette. I mean, Stratford is one of the uh, state powers, I guess, historically. Uh, they are making their 19th straight playoff appearance, and they won six straight. That's right, six straight Division Six titles from 2003 to 08. But last season, they did get they did lose in the opening round of the playoffs, so they can be beat. Poinette is making its 12th playoff appearance in 13 years, so they got some playoff history too. Um, but they have lost their last three playoff games, yeah, so it'd be a, it's a tough matchup for them, no doubt. Uh, a couple other interesting notes about that game. It'll be interesting to see one how Poinette responds to uh, obviously an emotional victory in in uh, the finale there against Lakeside Lutheran, and uh, and whether or not they can can keep the adrenaline and the intensity up to play uh, to play Stratford, who is the second lowest enrollment um, school in Division Five. Um, previously, like Travis mentioned, playing in Division Six. And um, just one final note on Stratford, um, their contest with Conference foe Edgar this season, they lost 32 to nothing. Um, so I don't know if that, if that tells you anything about the, the balance of, of power in that conference this season, but um, nonetheless, a tough game for Poinette to start the playoffs. Uh, moving down to Division 7, um, Cambria Friesland will uh, host uh, Wisconsin Rapids Assumption, uh, CF seated fourth um, there on that side of the bracket. CF scoring 25.4 points a game and allowing uh, just a hair over 20, 20.1. 20 um, six and three overall, five and two in the Small Trailways Conference, good for third. Uh, meanwhile, um, Assumption, 16.9 points per game, allowing 13.9. Uh, some defensive battles mm -hmm. there for them this season. They're six and three overall in the Cloverwood Conference where there are um, 10 teams, so a full conference slate for those Cloverwood schools. Yeah, and uh, the Cambridge Friesen just keeps going to the playoffs. Uh, this is their 16th straight playoff uh, appearance, so they know a thing or two about uh, the postseason. But uh, they have bowed out in the opening round the last three seasons, and uh, all time the Coppers are 18 and 17 in the playoffs, including a Division Seven state t state title in 2002. Uh, for Assumption, they're ending a two-year playoff drought, but haven't won a playoff game since, since 2000. So uh, they got uh, they got some uh, his some some history, but not no recent success really. Um, and then moving on to the final game involving an area team, uh, also in Division Seven, Rio um, is going to be hosting Living Word Lutheran. Um, they're over in Jackson, uh, in Jackson, a little bit north of Germantown. Living Word Lutheran seated second, coming over to play Ryo at Portage High School. Um, so, you know, interesting situation there. The, the, the higher seated team going to be um, on the road to open the playoffs. Um, Ryo, 6 and 3 overall, 4 and 3 in the Small Trailways Conference, um, scoring 24.1 points per game and allowing 16 per contest. While Living Word Lutheran is scoring 31.2, allowing 15.8. They're seven and two overall, six and two in the Midwest Classic Conference, um, where they finished second this season. Yeah, and uh, Living Word uh, riding a little bit of a cold streak. They lost two of their last three games, so uh, maybe uh, they're a little vulnerable. But who knows? They're also a good team, obviously. Um, for Ryo, uh, they're making their fifth straight and fifth overall playoff experience. So all their playoff history is relatively re recent. They are two and four all time in the postseason. Did win an opening round game last year. Um, just comparing them against playoff teams this year, they're 0-2 against uh, Randolph and Cambria, the only two playoff teams they played in the regular season this year. Um, but but especially Randolph, you know, really really dominated um, pretty much everyone on their schedule this season. So right. at least you know Riles uh, seen seen some elite competition should have them ready for the playoffs this season. Um, and and for any of you looking to go uh, go check out any of these games, they're all. Uh, 7 o'clock starts on Tuesday. Um, winners will move on to play in Level 2 of the playoffs the following Saturday. Um, thanks, everyone, for watching. For Travis, I'm Dan. We will see you again soon. Take care.